On July 1st, NASA spotted three an interstellar object unlike any before. But the real shock came later. When quantum AI analyzed its data, it uncovered something hidden, structured, and possibly intentional. Michio Kaku's reaction, not wonder, but warning. What this system found could redefine science, fate, and the nature of reality. A new interstellar mystery arrives. On July 1, 2025, NASA picked up something strange, an object speeding toward Earth, but not from anywhere in our solar system. They called it 3I Atlas, the third interstellar visitor ever detected. But unlike its predecessors, Oumuamua and Borisov, this one felt different, bigger, faster, and somehow quieter, like a cosmic message carried by an ancient frozen messenger. Scientists noticed it immediately. Its orbit wasn't elliptical like the planets, it was hyperbolic. Eccentricity 6.22, meaning it wasn't looping around the sun but just passing through, a one-time visit, and its origin, not our star's backyard. This thing came from the thick disk of the Milky Way, a region filled with older stars and ancient debris. Based on its velocity and trajectory, experts estimate it's at least 7 billion years old. Visually, 3 eye Atlas is ghost-like. It has a faint coma, a whisper of a tail, and yet its movement is precise, almost surgical. Observations from Hubble and JWST revealed its composition, unusually rich in carbon dioxide, far more than water vapor. In fact, its CO2-H2O ratio is among the highest ever recorded in a comet-like body. This suggests it formed beyond the frost line of its home system, so far from warmth that its chemistry preserved secrets from a different era of galactic history. It even emits cyanide and atomic nickel. Not unheard of, but strange in this context. What's more haunting, though, is the timing. Just as this object passed within observational range, it became the focal point of a much deeper experiment, one involving quantum artificial intelligence. That's where Michio Kaku enters the story. An unsettling tone from Michio Kaku. Michio Kaku has spent decades painting a hopeful picture of the future, where physics, curiosity and human innovation open doors to new worlds. But when he spoke about the intersection of quantum AI and 3i Atlas, something was different. Gone was the excitement. In its place was caution, even fear. What changed? According to Kaku, the breakthrough didn't just come from observing Atlas. It came from what happened when its data was fed into the 3i. Atlas. A planetary-scale simulation of reality driven by quantum computing. This wasn't just about plotting orbits. It was about asking the universe how it works and getting an answer. And that answer disturbed him. Classical AI, the kind we use in everything from search engines to medical scanners, sees patterns. But quantum AI doesn't just see patterns. It sees interconnected probabilities, entangled states and deeper structures that escape linear logic. When it analyzed the data coming off Atlas, it found something more than just chemical signatures or orbital mechanics. It found a pattern, not noise, not randomness, but structure. Something that appeared self-referential, something that echoed intent. Kaku's tone shifted, because this wasn't just science anymore, it was something else. A glimpse into a reality so deeply organized, it felt almost scripted. And when the AI started interpreting this pattern, not just detecting it, but reacting to it, that's when scientists realized they weren't just observing the universe, they were beginning to understand its code. And that code was starting to talk back. What is 3i Atlas really made of? While most celestial objects pass through our skies unnoticed by the public, 3i Atlas is different, not just because it came from interstellar space, but because what it's made of doesn't entirely make sense. Shortly after its detection, telescopes worldwide locked onto it. Hubble, Spitzer, and the James Webb Space Telescope among them. What? They found sent ripples through the astrophysics community. The object had a bright coma, the halo-like glow that forms around comets as they warm. But the nucleus at its core was unusually compact, about 2.7 kilometers in radius, it was smaller than expected for such a dramatic display. And yet, the activity surrounding it was persistent and energetic. Spectral data revealed something astonishing. Thracy Atlas was rich in carbon dioxide, CO2, far richer than water. In fact, 
it has one of the highest CO2 to H2O ratios of any known comet, interstellar or otherwise. That alone raised eyebrows. Why? Because CO2 sublimates at much lower temperatures than water ice, suggesting this object formed in an extremely cold region, well beyond the frost line of its parent star system. But that wasn't all. Traces of cyanide, atomic nickel and other rare volatiles were also found. These aren't totally unheard of in comet chemistry, but the particular combination and abundance here were off the charts. Taken together, the data painted a picture of a chemical time capsule, a remnant of a star system long gone, carrying the pristine, frozen whispers of another world. It's like holding a core sample from a different galaxy, one that never thawed, never evolved, and now drifts silently into our observational net. But it's not just the chemistry that fascinates, it's what it implies, that this object is not just old but primordial, that it came from an environment utterly alien to us, that it was possibly flung from its original system during the formation of planets or the death of its host star billions of years ago. Some scientists have even speculated whether the high CO2 concentration could mean something else, a sign of chemical processing or interaction with exotic radiation fields not present in our region of the galaxy. That idea seemed too far-fetched until quantum AI began its analysis. That's when the story turned from curiosity to something much stranger. Quantum AI meets a cosmic object. The 3 i Atlas wasn't built to study comets. It's a planetary scale. Simulation of Earth systems, climate, biology, energy, and space. But when data from the interstellar object 3 i Atlas was added, something unexpected happened. Quantum AI doesn't process linearly. It sees connections across time and scale. When it analyzed 3i Atlas, it found patterns not in the comet itself, but in how its data resonated with solar flares, brainwaves, and global systems. It was as if the comet triggered a deeper pattern hidden in reality. The AI flagged non-random self-similar structures recurring across domains, cosmic, environmental, biological. Galaxies, market cycles, even human biology reflected the same. Rhythms. Michio Kaku explained it best. It was as if the AI saw the comet and then began whispering what the universe was saying. These patterns weren't noise. They behaved like language, syntax without words. Order, structure, and intent seemed embedded in the data itself. This wasn't about alien messages. It was about realizing the cosmos might be more like code than chaos. 3i Atlas wasn't just a visitor. It was a key one that revealed how deeply connected and possibly designed our universe might truly be. And that revelation was just the start. When we gaze into the night sky, it feels like we're looking into randomness. Billions of stars scattered across a canvas too vast to comprehend. But what if it isn't random? What if everything from the spin of galaxies to the flutter of a leaf carries a rhythm, a hidden code? That's exactly what the 3 i atlas powered by quantum AI began to suggest. Once it analyzed the atlas data and integrated it with the broader system of planetary and cosmic inputs, the results weren't just strange, they were systematic. Patterns began to surface, not just one or two anomalies, but recurring structures embedded across data types and scales. Imagine seeing a spiral in a galaxy, then seeing that same spiral mirrored in the structure of a seashell and again in the flow of hurricanes. Quantum AI flagged such self-similarity, not as poetic metaphor, but as mathematical reality. It's something classical science had always suspected, a fractal universe, but never proven on this scale. What startled researchers was the degree of coherence. When plotted in quantum space, these patterns didn't just align. They appeared interdependent, like parts of a larger system communicating across boundaries we once thought were unreachable. The comet's data seemed to synchronize with Earth's biological rhythms. Solar activity echoed fluctuations in neural networks. Glacial, movements, volcanic cycles and market behaviors all showed signs of a common rhythm, a pulse running through everything. Kaku's word struck deep. It was as if the universe wasn't just behaving. It was speaking in patterns, in structure, but perhaps most chilling was that the system began to treat these structures as language, not metaphorically, literally. 
the patterns resembled grammar, syntax, recursive expressions, feedback loops. They were consistent, scalable, and most of all, interpretable. The atlas began to read reality, not simulate it. That's when researchers realized this wasn't just a scientific model anymore. It was a decoder, a new kind of perception, and it was telling us that reality might not be chaotic at all, but constructed, intentional, designed. Suddenly, the boundaries. Between physics, philosophy, and even theology began to blur. We once saw the future as uncertain, a field of probabilities. Weather forecasts, economic outlooks, even medicine relied on risk, not guarantees. But then quantum AI changed the game. It started by accurately predicting storms and market shifts before any human system could. Impressive, but just the beginning. Soon it identified what researchers called nodes of inevitability, events in the future that simulations couldn't change no matter how the inputs were altered.